All right, so welcome to the T19 Titans League 2, and we've got the Gold League here. We've got Gabby up against Say My Name. So we've got the first map, a Nomad, and it's actually on... What's the... Oh, it's just called TTL2 Nomad. Bit of an interesting design here. So players start with... Two villages together, and then one over at the far side of the map, for the most part, or fairly scattered away. So it looks like, say my name, or Yellow's third villager is all the way over at Gabby's base. Well, Gabby's third villager sort of just over at the coast here, really. So she's going to be able to go straight from the dock. It'd be nice for her early eco. Well, Yellow might be able to go for this middle water, or at least it's a good tell where it is, but I don't think it starts as nice as such. But I mean, he's going to commit for the early dock as well. So I think, actually, he gets this up this early on. I think it's not really going to make a difference. I think Gabby's not going to be able to go for an early fishing boat just yet. It's not as so yellow's really lost out, so the starts might be uh, fairly even. Did yellow actually get a look at uh, Gabby's base coming past? No, not really. So yeah, I guess fairly even in terms of the starts. So yeah, we've got Gabby, Red Trunk, Saracen player today. So, supermarkets, which are pretty inconsequential in this. Transport ships, pretty inconsequential. Galley attack would be useful, and camel health. Galley attack in particular, once H3 fights on the water start, but I suppose you probably start seeing fights in H2 water, really. But, I mean, it is meaning that uh, H3. You really start to kick on. Or does it affect your age 2 galleys as well? Because if it does, that's pretty fucking useful. Anyway. For yellow, it's a Spanish player today. Blue Trunks, top side. Builders working faster is just useful for macro in general. Same with blacksmith upgrades, not costing any gold. Also has a cannon galleon. That's sort of not really important to Imperial though. Gunpowder units firing 18% faster. Well, again, I think that really only comes into play late on. But at the same time, Kistador, very useful unit. Villages late game are ridiculous in combat for whatever the whatever the fuck reason. So I guess it sort of means that if you're reactive, it can be quite easy to actually defend your villages, and you can even use them to help push at various stages of the late game. I have to see if either player is going to make it there first. I mean, Yellow's just saying, fuck it, I can defend all of these houses at some point. Or Gabby's just going to boom. But is Gabby just going to boom? Hmm, in fact, the uh, fishing boat count is starting to really favour Yellow here. So, Gabby, a bit slower on the fishing ship production there. And I don't think Spanish actually get like, sort of train time advantage there, so. Not sure if it's really going to mean Gabby's going to be able to age up faster 
whiny consequential amount, or if it's really just going to mean um, that yellow starts pulling ahead slightly on food. Bearing in mind, we up to five fishing ships for one of them and seven for the other, I think. This actually sort of has delayed their field ages. Yeah, they're so slow. Oh, not really. Let's see. Vill counts actually only see? at 17, sorry. I think they might look at stopping here. Eight fishing boats for yellow. Gabby, at the moment, it's five. Isn't going for any more just yet. So Gabby's aging. Yellow's aging slightly slower. She's going to be able to fish a little bit more heavily in the meanwhile. Another player choosing to restart fishing ship production at this point because I guess trying to wall off and get your uh, initial military production is probably more important at this stage. So Gabby going for the barracks, going to be able to throw down a range or a stables, probably a stables as soon as age 2 hits. While yellow walling off this side, it will be hard to wall off the other side either. And I mean this one might be the more natural running path because I mean yellow's probably going to want to try and clean up the dock and all the houses eventually so Gabby's going to want to clean that up because yellow it's a bit of a commitment there a lot, a lot of wood there up for grabs really so yellow's feudal kicking in as well Blacksmith actually being built behind the uh, palisade wall there for uh, yellow. <laughs> Try and wall in at the gold mine, I suppose, because if he parks the uh, camp there, just walls in the rest of this would be pretty safe. It's Gabby in the meanwhile is just building up some arches. The market can be able to go towards age three and have plenty of archers there to get uh, crossbowmen. Well, it looks like yellow is just beelining straight towards Castle Age. It's a little bit more stone. I have to wonder if it's to get multiple town centers or a castle or a castle and a town center. So you will fire galley there for Gabby just to scout out and prevent any possible gathering here out on this side while well, she's probably going to want to eventually send this one round to deny fishing over at the far side of the map as she actually ends up creeping her own docks further and further around to you know, keep sustaining her fishing we're just waiting on the I'm wood on. to go for a second dock here So she look at placing that down, the village accounts really start to even up, I think uh, Gabby's committed to a couple more fishing roads through all this while um, Yellow's not really added any. Gabby's not been able to try and reach any of these, but she's actually just going to commit to the water in the inner pool as well. She's actually going to have this goat here ready to try and a bit of scouting as soon as she gets this palisade wall down. Yellow's forgotten about the goat over here. So 
So cast lane just kicked in now. The yellow. Gabby's not far off. Where'd all those archers go? Oh, they're all being shipped across. So this is crafty. I'm going to try and harass the fishing boats, but that school of fish is actually depleted now. Look what she has. Bought a hole through the wall in yellow's walls there. Quick defensive castle here by Yellow. He's going to commit to a second town center. Gabby really continuing to apply the pressure. She's on a single TC, but she does have the water. She's going to be able to push on the central water as well. Yellow's not actually training a boat in the meanwhile. Trying to harass as much of the eco as she can of yellow here because he does have the TC advantage. Jeez. So they can conquistador's going to be able to shut down the split crossbowman. These villages overextend here. Get picked off. Stick around for too long. Gabby's continuing to as much map control as she can. This is nice for Yellow though. He's managed to delete part of the palisade and sneak in with a couple of conquistadors now. Picked off a villager in the process. He's going to get Scorpion. Well, Gabby at the moment. I don't actually make any vills. There we go. Just waiting on the food, I think. She's only on the one town center still. She's not making any more fishing boats, so. She hasn't yet pushed uh, Yellow off the central f uh, pond yet either, so. He is still getting the benefit of all that fishing. Conquistadors. And a little run by. Test here for Gabby. She's still trying to do her own harass here, but now with a couple of scorpions on the defense, I think she's gonna have to back off. Okay, so they're still trying to find opportunity to deal some damage here if they can pick up a couple of fishing boats. This could be good for Yellow here. Rough for Gabby who's continuing to solidify this base up here but she's still slightly falling behind in the village account because Yellow's now up to the third town center. It's having to really choke her out economically here. Especially if he can pick up a couple more of these fishing boats. She's now having to rally as far out to the distance school as she can, but she does drop a couple of fishing boats. Well, she's going to take out the blacksmith there. That'll be a bit of a boon. But at the same time, yellow should be safe to replace it. He's got plenty of wood back at home. And his eco, he's now 20. Vil pop in front, but now Gabby. 
Yeah, it's going for the fire galley in the central water, but I think she could have been on this a little bit faster. Especially considering she's been trailing town centers to try and keep applying all this pressure. I think she has got uh, a relic advantage there. But I'm not sure if that really outweighs 20 villagers. Particularly with uh, AoE 2 relic gold income. So now Yellow has his own fire galley in the center there. In case it does. Now leaving the uh, fishing ships alone, but Yellow's going to be able to save his own fishing ships in the center. He's still got that TC advantage, because Gabby going for a second town center now. But uh, Yellow's been on three for a little while now. So he's up by 25 villages at the moment. So Gabby's going to have to play this very smart economically. Here on out. Getting picked off. Another one actually nailing the conversion Monday. and the conquistador. He's going to be able to clean him up though. I think that ends up being worth it for Yellow there. Gabby's going to be able to clean up that last conquistador, I think. Seventy-five to forty-two is Vil Pop at the moment. This is going to be got the two. It's not a third one there. No. It's still, two to three town centers is a lot better than one to three town centers. It's still not ideal, but she's got a nice fighting force here. Get that Megan Elk can land a shot. Really rough for Yellow. the structures but so means that yellow's got a good opportunity to try and turn the fight and then else coming to back things up a nice shot there the single one and a lot of gabby's army's been picked off at this stage so i actually should have played a really a strategy here because she's really managed to a significant amount of damage to yellow at all with any of these pushes. And now this one, he's managed to wipe out a lot of her army. So he's going to be right to set up for Imperial or continue to push here and really have the initiate here. And any of the fights upcoming. Yeah, he still has that outlying water, but for much longer perhaps because it's like yellow's gotten back on it there are still some fire galleys over here to try and ward this off perhaps but I think the fire ships are the upgraded version aren't they? Yeah they are so Gabby's going to want to invest in an upgrade before she takes a fight even He's even going to get a ram here, pushing with more conquistadors. He's actually getting hand cut, so the improvement to wheelbarrow. Going to really be able to gather an awful lot more, especially considering that deal uh, differential between him and Gabby now. He's up to 2TC. They're getting a university so she can look going towards Imperial Age. Oh, she's up to 3 TC. But is it too little too late now? So are you trailing by 45 villages? Even though she's been the aggressor in much of the game, particularly on the land. The Kisadors, they've been useful by uh, Yellow, but I don't think they've gotten a huge amount of kills. So just uh, full scabby to have to try and garrison a lot. Make sure gathering 
a bit slower. This thing's a bit more uncomfortable. Looks like a bunch of villages being brought now with the uh, Spanish army. Villager Amada, hey? Gabby tapping out there. Game number one.